Hello, everybody. Good morning. Joe here. And Kevin. Uh, yeah, so the last week of uh, West Wing, I thought it was one of the most satisfying episodes we've had on the show so far. Sure. Uh, huge payoff. Mm -hmm. uh, this show does pay off better than most shows, honestly. I mean, the fact that we've plotted this for so freaking long. To get to the election, yeah. And, and there's other storylines that go back to even uh, season two with the whole MS situation. Mm -hmm. right? That is still being touched upon midway through season four. And, you know, I, I really like the fact that, the, to me, there's a, a real um, scotia of realism with the fact yeah. that when they got to the election, they knew who was going to win. Yeah. It wasn't really like a down-to-the-wire thing because no. that's usually how presidential elections work. But they did use that tension a little bit sure. with the small um, election that in California. Right. I, I, I'm kind of wondering if we're about – if Sam's leaving this early – you know what I mean? Like, well, I got to go about and, and run for this seat now. I don't know. I mean, because you know, I assumed and that um, that uh, Rob Lowe was on all the way through season four. I didn't left him between seasons. Yeah. But there's a real chance that it's just like, well, he was ready to go, so they wrote him off early in season four. We're gonna need a transition episode. Oh, or you know? several. Sure. It, yeah. I would like several. Yeah. Because uh, it, it I seems, mean. I don't know, but it seems to be that Josh Molina is staying on the show. Right. I I, I think that's going to be a process. Um, you know what I mean? You would think it would be. Right. right. It's like, well, Sam's it's, – it's not like, like, hey, guys, Sam's running for this seat, and now I'm here to fill his shoes. Yeah. I, I I don't think the show is that lazy in the writing. No, 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 no. Um, so I, I think that it is going to be an arc where this happens. What I would like to see is if we're going to get him leaving this early, one episode dedicated to his departure, and then sure. maybe an episode um, – Focus on Josh Molina, getting him right. settled in, getting him accustomed. Yeah, you know, I, I, West Wing through his eyes. Right. I, I think that this is. Yeah, I think this is going to be more than one episode. I hope so. Kind of arc situation I, for I sure. I really do, and I want to see what they're going to, uh, what the main, what the central conflict is going to be going forward after the election, because for so long yeah, we had the election goggles on and right. we're focused on that. Yeah, yeah, just like in the world, and now it's like okay, yeah. now that now that the second term has started, now that you're not campaigning or worried about losing an election, yeah. now how do you govern? What does right? that look like? Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and, uh, does he take a back seat? Are we focused on more of the supporting cast, or is it going to be because Bartlett kind of was the main star there for uh, sure a little bit? I, I, I personally, for me, I think season three and especially season two, it was the Bartlett show, right? Well, for sure. Uh, and I think Josh might be getting some more screen time coming up. It seems like Toby's got a really important arc coming on right, right now. You know, obviously he's about to have twins. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on in the show. Yeah, I feel like the show. I, I and I could be wrong, obviously. You know, they've they've done kind of equal balance for everybody, but I feel like they've kind of set up. I feel like the two characters that are really kind of like the focus of the show a lot more now yeah. are Josh, who I feel like it's been his show from the beginning. Yep, I really do. And CJ, I feel like it's going to largely yeah. be Josh and CJ. I would, you, you know what I mean? I I, th I think that they're going to with Sam gone. I think that the focus is going to be on those two. I'm not sure how, yeah. but I really feel like they've set that up. That, that they're like so sure. in, so so involved in in the operations of the White House. Yeah, and, and it's not that that you know Toby and uh, and uh, Leo aren't, yeah. but I, I just really feel like the the nuts and bolts of every how of the day to day of how everything goes. Yeah, really is more focused on those two. No, sure, because it's not about speech writing. It's no, not right, about, yeah, exactly, right. Because you know, that'd be a different right. show. Yeah, com completely. Um, but I do think Bradley Whitford and uh, Allison Janney. 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 Yeah, Janney. Sorry, Janney. Janney. I love you, Allison. <laughs> uh, I feel like those two are the ones that consistently were crushing it at the Emmys. Yeah, yeah. Year after year after year. Right, so right. I feel like the writers like, okay, they're the not that the other actors aren't strong, but these are the two that are really knocking out of the park. Let's give them something. You know what I mean? Let's, sure. let's give them something big to chew. Well, on. and I think, I think someone spoiled it a little bit, and because we were like, I, I, I wonder if Allison Janney how she did at the Emmys with this show. Yeah. And and someone I recall pointed out she won. Or was nominated. I don't. I don't know how her no nominations went. An insane amount. Early on for supporting, and later on for lead actress. Oh, okay. So I, okay. I, and and I feel like they've kind of set that up. Sure. You know, her character has has become more in the forefront of things. I don't know if policy wise she gets more involved somehow, but I do feel yeah. like I do feel like that 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 does signal, and and the show's been signaling sure. that she becomes more important, and I feel like. Brad Whitford, it's kind of been Josh's show. Well, that makes sense, though, because the show doesn't really have... If, if you were going to pick a female lead of the show, it would be her. Right. And then I guess you could say that Stockard Channing was the supporting actress. Yeah, she... Or maybe even Donna, you know what I mean? Right. I, I think Donna's importance has certainly yeah. certainly grown um, a lot, um, but Stockard Channing disappears for large stretches. She's, yeah, she's, most she's, of season three. She's a very show. busy Broadway talented actress. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure she's like, hey, guys, I'm sorry, I'm trying to win a Tony right now, but I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll pop in when I can. <laughs> I got the time for it. Right. Uh, we do want to go ahead and, and welcome Amber 
GS and Naomi to our Patreon group. Thanks so much for being here, guys. We're really happy you're here. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Uh, we just wrapped up Shit's Creek. Mm -hmm. There's pl uh, plenty of other content over there for you guys as well. But if you're here for the first time, hit that like button for us. Leave us a comment and uh, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the new content we have coming your way. Yeah, obligatory stuff, we have to say. If, you, if you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we're watching, Please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. On all shows we're watching, including The West Wing, we're at least four episodes ahead on Patreon if we're on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube and get done want to keep going, Patreon's the way to do it. You will have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. As we are wrapping up Shit's Creek, we're about to start doing uh, more films and Dairy Girls yeah. to replace Shit's Creek. So fun stuff coming. Yeah, right, leave us suggestions on Patreon too. That way we know. Oh, what's always, always looking for for new shows that we've never seen before and movies too. Yeah, right. maybe we've gone on to Sam's story, we Sam's exit story here completely. We still have three house races undecided. Okay, so it's the same night. Yeah, same night. Yeah, same night. Second, that the Democrat in question is. I don't mean to make light of this, of course, but the candidate passed away. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, I don't. Has this ever happened? I don't think it's ever happened. I'm, not that I'm aware of. Yeah. yeah. Among those who said they were undecided, 73% said they made up their mind based on the debates. Yeah, he cleared yeah. the debates, yeah. A probable impossibility is preferable to an improbable possibility. The Midwest. The RNC exits. A dead candidate. A rainstorm. It's Aristotle all over the place. I said I'd run in his place. It's not like I meant it. Well, I don't know if I said we did tell her. Yeah. It's going to weigh on him by the end of the episode. He's going to For be sure. I'm doing it. I'm at the Hyatt in Newport Beach with the Horton Wild campaign, and the place is going absolutely berserk. Yeah, Gail, is there any word on who the Democrats the maybe pop here? might run <laughs> the special election? Get him. Gotta get him. Well, there is a Seaboard. <laughs> yep. We'll seek the seat. And the yep. <laughs> the whole room got quiet. Yeah. They're talking about someone else. I'm told that we've got a picture of <laughs> on screen. Julia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a great way to do the reveal. Yeah, the whole room going quiet. We're all gonna be looking at him like, oh, this is yeah. the other one. You want to tell us? Toby is the president endorsing Sam. Hmm? Is the president endorsing Sam? I don't know. He's asleep. Man, I don't know if he will, but it'd be really cool if he if he got to to win. You know? Right. I mean, yeah. Th that'd be awesome. But then, if he wins, you would think that he'd still have to be on the show. Because he'd be in Washington. Yeah. Right? They, but they don't have to. He's in a different guess, branch of yeah. government. We, yeah. we hardly ever see Hoynes. Right, it's yeah, It's kind exactly. of surprising we yeah. didn't see Hoynes the last episode, you know? Like campaigning for the president or yeah. anything? Yeah. What about election night? Where's the vice president? Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have to talk to the White House. I would actually talk to the president first. Really? He's going to get it first thing in the morning. This is nice. It is nice. Kiss me. Is he going to break in on romantic time? I think he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won the Dakotas, the Badlands, the Black Hills. But let's go down. Way that would never down happen now. <laughs> Who's your commander in chief? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And do the ladies like him? Oh, yes. I hope I'm not here at a bad time. No, what would make you say that? Yeah, check the ambiance, man. Read the room. Might be asked first thing tomorrow if you're endorsing me. Am I? Well, I'm not really running. And I'm behind you 100%. Hi, Sam. Hi. Eyes front, mister. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'd be so scared. Yeah. <laughs> studies, it can be very... My man got the president re-elected tonight! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So they're very much together. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to be married, I guess. Yeah. That's fine. Are you pregnant? None of your business. You can't withhold that from your constituent. That reminds me, did you hear the rumor that the president has multiple sclerosis? Never yeah. 85% awesome. of what kind of backward population votes for this woman? The good people of <laughs> Women. Yes, indeed, ma'am. 58%. Ooh, everyone's partying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Marines so basically, they're, nice they're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're basically going through the same thing. Yes, they are. If you walk me through every demographic, I think the night's not going to have the kind of happy ending you're hoping for. Oh, my yeah. God. How you doing? Pretty good. You got a second? Oh, Tim and Bell. Yeah. It is, yeah. Are you ready to brief? 15 minutes. Yeah. Go out there and be like, honey, we got 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to rush things. There's about to be a coup in Venezuela. 
That kind of line, though. Yeah. Hey, hang around. That's got to go to the coup real fast. Yeah, you know how powerful you sound doing this? So yeah. I've got to go deal with a coup in, a, in Venezuela. <laughs> Just like, oh, <laughs> right. I'm not going anywhere. Right. <laughs> It's like, my son's a doctor. Yeah, well, my son just dealt with a coup in Venezuela. <laughs> Smart. We never advised President Bartlett to hide his oh, man. especially during the debates, hey, 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 because we believe that's what made him stand out as a candidate. We recommended to the president that he make energy a hot topic that guy? for the campaign. And yeah. obviously a winning strategy. Is this guy a fraud? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think he won the election. <laughs> it sounds like he did very well. You know a guy named Chris Whitaker? <laughs> Whittle. Whitaker. I don't He's think he claiming cares. credit for the energy strategy and who knows what else. What can stay? Bruno. Why do I care? I think you should talk to some reporters. Yeah. Good for Bruno. Yeah. No ego there, man. Let him enjoy the, the spoils yeah. of the victory. A week ago, Sam told Horton Wilde's widow that he'd run in his place. I know. Just gonna have to say. You should do it. That's actually what I came here to tell you. What do you mean? You should run. No. Well, yeah, she looks great. What? You broke up with her, man. You did, man. I feel no sympathy for con commitment phobes at all. I really don't. Nah. You ever gonna enjoy yourself? I just beat Chuck Webb. That was a pretty good time. Yeah. Yes, you did. With Chuck Webb, somebody who saw on the show, the name's familiar. No, nope. yeah, outside yeah, of I this. I just mentioned him. I don't think gotcha. I saw him. Don't be wearing that dress all in front of. Uh, never mind. Are election victories really big aphrodisiacs at these things, I'm guessing? Apparently so. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> right. I, I want to talk to you for a minute about Sam. Uh, sure. I wonder, though, is there any chance we could talk first thing in the morning? What are the president's unfavorables in the 47th? I'm sorry? The president has a 48, 42 favorable, unfavorable with a 12 point gender spread. Shares our yeah, values 37. Right. I'm kind of curious what the process is for getting him into the West Wing, though. Oh, no, you know? I don't think it's a one-for-one -one swap out with Sam. You no. know what I mean? He <laughs> lost? Hey, I know you. Okay. It's freezing in here. Just the people working in a steam pipe trunk distribution venue yeah. with Ainsley. <laughs> we haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. She had another show going on, people were saying. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Leo, this is Lieutenant Commander Jack Reese. He's Nancy McNally's I just hear Jake's song. It's all like, yeah. Commander. <laughs> There's 63 Americans in the refinery. Mr. McGarry needs you to cull the pertinent intelligence data and put together a two-page briefing he can give the president. Three hours? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the White House. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we Man, thank you, you for your good really. wishes and no. ask for privacy while we consider reconciliation. The people who elected you aren't the ones who are going to throw the picnic. I know. Then what's the problem? I can't stand the ones who are. I agree. We talked about this yeah. once. Remember, we talked about this, these, these high, what you should tell people. Yeah, sure. You're not trying to avoid a fight. No. Nope. You're looking for one. Yeah. You're like sniffing yeah. around for a fight. Well, I'm glad we got to this. Because I was getting kind of tired of this conversation that yeah, we've had too. for a couple of episodes. Like, yeah. you're still doing this, Toby? I think it's good this guy is talking. He doesn't know anything. The process story will last this long. I don't care. We won. It's over. CJ will not let this go. She'll, not. She'll just stop talking to him about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think maybe Sam should run. I've been thinking about that, too. And when the dust settles, what's the story going to be? That we didn't take back the hat. Do you think he should run? I do. You going to tell him? Yeah. Can we come? No. Oh, this is bad timing. Yeah, the... Let him enjoy his victory. <laughs> I think he should do it. Well, that's that then. I guess. This is an interesting episode as a follow-up to election night. I it love is, this. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of stories. I like that it's just the same night. Uh, do you work on the maintenance staff? No, I'm senior assistant to Josh Lyman. He's the deputy chief of staff. $500 screwdrivers is why you didn't vote for the president. I work for the president. That's a lot. What was that? A $400 ashtray. This one's built to break into three dull pieces. We lead a slightly different life out there, and it costs a little more money. They'll page me up at the party, right? Yeah. Doesn't he have a 20-minute report to write? Unless it's done. He might have. He might have. Yeah, yeah. Already, yeah. 
You're young, Charlie. Don't you want to be having fun right now? Yes, sir. But I work for you. I get that a lot. The Americans, they're safe. It's over. Really, I've stopped by because I hadn't told you that Andy's pregnant. It's twins, and of course, I'm the father. Well done. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yeah. Jed! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come back! <laughs> it's uh, twins, a boy and a, um, uh, a girl. That is the Aww. most wonderful news. I was intimidated by your Catholicism. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's my Catholicism, Toby. It works for me. I told Leo McGarry that. I said education is the silver bullet. I like bullet. Like, that's, that's awesome. what this yeah. about. CJ's gonna shred this guy. We're all impressed with how influential you were, particularly when you consider that most of us have never met you. I'm calling all the major news outlets and letting them know that I'll be forwarding all your confidential memos to the president. Don't disrespect Leo McGarry and Bruno Gianelli. No, she won that one. Yes, she did. <laughs> we think you should run. Why? Why would you think something like that? Well, it was Josh's idea. You're not going to win, so you can't lose. You're going to lose. Democrats are always going to lose in the 47. Can't just pick up and try someplace else. They have a name for that. We do now. People move, move around now and run. Yeah. But everywhere we went, there'd be one lone poster of a right-wing nut bar who wanted to eliminate the income tax. And no candidate gets to run in my district without speaking to my issues. I, can miss I like that. For him. I'm sorry. I finally got Mr. Wilde on the phone. I'm going to take this call. Well, Sam. I'll go with you. Oh, the show. Yeah, this is how we're going to lose Sam. It's a nice moment, though. It's a, it's a nice moment. It's a really nice moment. Because Sam Seaborn is going to be the Democratic candidate for Congress in Orange County. I know. I think it's terrific. He's going to get crushed, and I wouldn't think it would reflect well on your boss. The process matters more than the outcome, and that's what we wanted. That was aces. That's great. It, yeah, it really was. Um, I like the fact that they don't rush through things. You know, it was yeah. it was nice to have an ep kind of just dedicated to the night of kind, kind of, of bottle episode. Yeah, right, well, it's kind of like a, a follow up, right? Yeah. Like here's the here's the natural ending of of, of the sure. election. It all took place in the White House for the most part, except yeah. for when we got back to Will. Um, but even that was a phone call. You know, yeah, like, didn't, so. even, didn't even jump around. He was just like, this is where we are. We're not gonna, there's no time jump. We didn't jump to the inauguration, which I kind of thought they might do. Me too. Um, but I, I did, because sometimes they, they do do that. You sure. Know? Um, but I like it. They wanted to cover all ends. Yeah, absolutely. Spectrum, you know? um, each episode tends to have uh, some sort of bit to it in the writing. You know what I mean? With Whereas uh, this episode had the everybody flirting. Right, yeah. You know, but, but there's still business at hand. Sure. But every single character had some sort of romantic... Um, situation they were involved in I mean, even down to donna donna and, and yeah it's true character. donna was donna was coming in hot wasn't she was, she? She, was yeah. she was really working it there and i'm curious to see where that storyline goes with the christian slater character you how know? long he's around yeah, yeah I mean, it's, for he's, sure. he's a big actor. um so I, I would like to see him on the show longer especially since i feel like his career kind of cooled off in the early 2000s right uh, which is probably why he's here right yeah, yeah. so it, it's nice to see a familiar face on the show um in terms of the Toby storyline, I like where that is going as well. Sure. I like that we're getting more of a maternal Toby. Yeah, paternal. Paternal, sorry. Right. Paternal. But I, I, I do like the idea that we, we first off, by the time it came up the last time, I was like, well, you can we please stop having the let me marry you and make a statement? Yeah. We're like, man, we've had this conversation ten times. Yeah. Come on, Mister Sorkin. I know you're a genius, but yeah. this is this is starting to become a little tired. He saved it. He saved it from the. Uh, but he did. Yeah, yeah. But at the time, it was like, why are we still doing this? Yeah. And they got to her saying, like, you know, figuring out, like, no, no, I pick, I'm, I'm picking a fight with people who say that pregnant women can't can't do their job. It. You know what it is? It's kind of like. Um, in screenwriting, like in uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, like you have this long, it's, it's different, but like in terms of like structure, it's similar. Uh, the long chase scene and the big payoff is I can't swim. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's kind of his version of that. Sure. Almost, you know what I mean? You take a, a three or four episodes of like, marry me, right. marry me. Why won't you do this? And then she gives the big giveaway. Well, like, I'm, I'm looking for a fight here, man. Right. Yeah. Like it, it was a great payoff. And it I was. I'm glad that, uh, what is her name? Um, his, his not, it's not his wife. It's his ex-wife. Uh, oh, um. Regardless, I'm glad that she seemed. It seems like she's Congresswoman going, Wyatt. I don't know her first name. It's not Amy, is it? No, 
No, it's not Amy. Yeah, Amy's Mary yeah. Louise Parker. Anyways, I'm glad that she's going to be on the show in a bigger role. Sure. Um, I like it when we add more characters in. If we're shifting focus away from Sam, let's expand. The right, for sure. For sure. I, do that. You know? I'm kind of wondering if in some of the people we saw in this episode, because obviously we're going to get Andy. Andy that's it. Yep. We're, we're going to get more Will for for sure, right? Yep. But yeah, I think with with with, with Sam off the show, you, there, there's more room for maybe more Amy, maybe more Andy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. How long you know? is Amy going to be on the show for? Because I didn't think she'd be on this long. I didn't, I, I'm kind of surprised that, that that she's still here. I wonder if it's after season four and Sam inevitably does lose, right? That then they start backing away from it. Sure. Season five seems to be like a, a reinvention almost. Obviously, Sorkin leaves. So I wonder if they just start fleshing out different. Right, right. Go in different directions. Have to, have, absolutely have to. Which right. is fine. Sure. Freshen the show up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, like like we said going in, it has to be a different show now. Yeah. Because you're not campaigning. You're not worried about, you know, winning the next election. Sure. So Which they're worried about for the entire first, you know, four and a half seasons. Yeah. Three and a half seasons. So in many ways, this is like the this is the end of the classic vintage West Wing. Right. It's a, it's a reset now. Yeah. It's like, okay, now we govern differently because I'm not seeking re-election. Yeah. And that's interesting. I mean, how many shows have really covered that? I mean, I guess House of Cards kind of does. I bit. feel like House of Cards. But that's way more fictitious. It's, it's, it got, I, I, I it wanted to like the show and it got so ridiculous. Yeah. When they got to the floor fight and it's like now his wife's vice president candidate. On a, uh, that's when I on lost. A, on a, it was just like, this just got dumb i'm the, sorry the believe house of cards of fans it was just like this got stupid and, it, and, and i only mention it because this show does it so much better well, it's, it's different it, right. it's more machiavellian than this is you know for sure obviously and um uh, and i'm just speaking in terms of like similarities on tv shows where you see this kind of process play out right um obviously this is way more hopeful than house of cards ever was well, and more realistic. And way more realistic, right. obviously. I mean, even when he became president, I was like... like we, <laughs> right. It's like, <laughs> so this guy works himself up for my kid, what cabinet secretary was yeah. to president. Like, and he's murdering VP people. and then president. Yeah, yeah, and, he, yeah. And, he, and, he's, and he's killing people, right? He's, Much more cynical, he's, yeah. phys- he's physically throwing a girl in front Perfect of a train. subway train. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah. I watched the whole thing, too. I should have just watched this, but then, of course, we couldn't have done it now. Yeah, yeah. I never finished. Oh, oh, I didn't. Sorry, I've digressed. That's my fault. Um... Only, only bring it up to to to, to, to demonstrate, right? To, yeah. to to demonstrate that it hasn't been done well before, mm-hmm. and the show really doesn't skip important parts of of, of the process. It doesn't, of the, or of you know the the office, right? The executive sure. branch. We get everything, which but I also, love. Yeah, just the different amounts of the scenarios they're able to like juggle in the show sure. and, and show us. I, I think is so much fun, and it is educational. Right. I, I like that we had that documentary episode. I did too. Yeah, kind of really break things down and show the how realistic the show really is, you know. Um, so yeah, going forward, I'm just excited to see what happens. I don't have any expectations because we're finally in a spot to where we don't have to predict anything. Yeah, I mean, really, yeah, yeah. it's like okay, now it's kind of, and I feel like the writers probably got there too. I mean, how could you not? It's like, well, we have to have re-election, so we have to have a candidate, and we have to have primaries, <laughs> and we have to have debates. Now it's like, well, now what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, does do, do season seven have like new candidates running? You know, because. It would, I don't know. You'd have to have a new Democrat and a new Republican, you know, to to, to take Barlow's place. Do we, do we go all the way up to a new election? I kind of hope so because I, like, be I, I want to see how that – what the perspective is from the, the sitting president. Is right, yeah, where you're you know? kind of out of it and like yeah. – do we see Bartlett actually physically leave the White House at the yeah. end on inauguration day or whatever? Really like, I don't the know. Gamut on like all these different situations. We've even had like an assassination attempt on the show. It's right. Like, yeah. That's pretty wild. You know, yeah, we, so we, they cover some ground. They do. And uh, I, uh, I think it's great. I think this is like one of the best shows ever. And it, it's yeah. becoming underrated at this point. Sure. Absolutely. And, you know, like I said, it, if, if you're not someone who's overly familiar with the American executive branch yeah. and how it works with the other two branches of government and sure. so on, this is a great show just for like learning a lot of different facets yeah. of, how, uh, of how it works. Entertaining and and, uh, informative. It was very, very entertaining. All right, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya.